Okay, guys, check this out. This is a bit of a public service announcement video of a very invasive and dangerous insect, the spotted lanternfly. This is the first of a series of videos I'm going to do. Check it out. What on earth is that? Whatever it is, I should know what this is. It just, it's not ringing any bell. But that, that coloration, how come I haven't seen this before? I get kind of a bad feeling about it. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is an invasive. I might know what this is. They run like a giraffe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first instar of the nymph stage of the lanternfly. Later on in July and August, they'll be red, white, and black. And after that, they're going to have their adult form, which I'll show you later. Now, since they're black and white, uh, that's aposomatic coloration. To me, it suggests that they're either toxic or they taste really bad. So therefore, they don't really have any natural predators in our area. They first showed up in Pennsylvania, I believe, around 2013 or 2014, and they spread to multiple counties. But so far, I think it's just Pennsylvania. If these insects show up anywhere else, that's going to be really bad, and I'm sure they will. Now, as I said, they really like the agricultural crops. They love to feed on grapes and hops. I don't know how that's going to affect our beer industry and all sorts of other crops. They also like the timber affecting different trees, which can greatly compromise our timber industry and different types of wood. We already have several invasive insect species threatening our timber industry, such as the emerald ash borer as an example. If you happen to see the lanternfly in any of its life stages, definitely report it to badbug.pa.gov or any other agricultural or park website. They'll know what to do from there. Okay, now please keep in mind that their appearance will take on two more stages throughout the summer, and I will keep you informed, so keep watching for that. And then, later on in the fall, I'm going to have a complete video on all their life stages, so please stay tuned for that one also. Until then, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon, because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit. Chris Ignato, signing out.